Greetings, Classic Cinema and TV fans. This is Jason back with you once again here on Classic Cinema Plus. And today, we're uh, talking about some under-the-radar films. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We would appreciate it. Let's jump into this. All right. Uh, today, we're talking about two brand new releases. Uh, and uh, these really are... Um, Probably not on anybody's radar. Um, these are films that are really, really um, obscure in a lot of ways. Uh, unless you are a, uh, a movie fanatic, uh, you probably haven't even heard of these films. Um, but this is the cool thing about being a movie reviewer and physical media fan. Um, a lot of releases come here to Classic Cinema Plus Studios, uh, some of which I've never heard of. And uh, so I get to review these things, and um, not all of them are that great. Um, some are okay, uh, but then every so often, there are some films that really, really shock me and make me go, wow, this is a great film. And uh, two releases came to Classic Cinema Plus Studios, and I've watched them, and I have to say, I was not expecting to be so surprised at how good they are but these are really really spectacular films so uh let's jump into this we're uh, talking about the first one here is um a film called apple seed all right now apple seed uh i was really not expecting this to be very good at all i i, I have to be honest with you um the the cover art uh, doesn't really draw you in a whole lot when you get down to it. It just it's just kind of eh. It's 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 okay, but it's it's just it it doesn't really hook you. It doesn't really make you go wow. You know, it's it's more one of those ones you just sit there and go huh, okay. Um and and I wasn't I wasn't really hooked by it, but I was like ah, eh, I'll watch it. I'll review it. Okay. Um. Pleasantly surprised by this film. Really pleasantly surprised by this film. Um, the film has uh, some really uh, good character actors in it as well. Um, Rance Howard is in this. Rance Howard, of course, known for uh, being the father of uh, Clint and uh, Ron Howard. And uh, Clint Howard is in this as well. He's got a small role, but he's in it. Uh, and then Adrian Barbeau is in this as well. Uh, really interesting uh, the film says, uh, tagline says, sometimes life can be a trip. All right. Uh, starring Michael Worth and also um, uh, directed by, uh, written and directed by uh, Michael Worth. Uh, just give you a little synopsis. I'm not going to spoil this film because I, I want to be spoiler free here. Uh, but it is this. On a cross-country trip uh, to rob his hometown bank, Prince McCoy played by Michael Worth, uh, finds himself having to rely on the help of an ex-convict hitchhiker named Carl Robbins, who may just have his own plans to execute along the way. Interesting. Interesting film. Now, uh, there is a much deeper story here. It's, it's a story of, uh, of discovering... Um, your worth, uh, discovering uh, redemption um, uh, and forgiveness. It is it is really, really a good film. Uh, Rance Howard really, um, he, he has a unique way about him when he, when he plays the role he's playing. Uh, you you kind of can't take your eyes off him. Uh, he's just... I don't know. It's just it's just unique. Um, uh, Michael Worth is is pretty good. Uh, everyone is pretty good in this film. Uh, but without spoiling it, let's just say it is a it's a really interesting uh, tale that has a deeper story than just an adventure of a road trip. Right? It, there's a much deeper story to it, and it is really really good. Um, this comes with both the Blu-ray and the DVD. Okay, so you get both versions. Um, 
it's uh, presented in uh, widescreen format, of course, 1080p, and um, it's in uh, uh, 5.1 surround sound. Uh, there's the audio commentary uh, by director and star um, Michael Worth, and um, the making of um, trailers and uh, uh, tribute to Rance Howard, um, uh, Clint Howard on uh, KTLA. A uh, little uh, interview there. Uh, just really, there's a lot of really good stuff here. Uh, now, the picture quality is amazing. It's it's really good. Of course, it's it was produced in 2022. So, uh, you're talking, this is not an old film. This is a newer film. So, so uh, HD cameras uh, presented in HD, uh, transferred into HD. I mean, it's going to look pretty good. Uh, there's... There's no real signs of damage to the print or anything like that. It's it, There's no pixelation. There's any of that. Uh, so it does look really good. But it's a really interesting film. Now, the, the interesting thing about this, too, is the fact that this film here is uh, rated R. When I watch this, I don't know why this was rated R. To be honest with you, I have I've watched it. I don't remember pretty much any really what you call bad language. Um, I mean, a couple minor words, but nothing nothing major. Uh, I didn't see a whole lot of uh, uh, real, real bad sexual content. Uh, I did. There's a little bit of violence, um, but it is mild violence. Um, I, I really, I don't know why this was rated R. Uh, unless I missed something. I don't know. This, to me... I would have said at the very least should have been, or the very most should have been uh, PG-13. Uh, I would have probably rated it more PG. Um, so I don't know why it was rated R. Uh, if you saw this film and maybe you can tell me why it's rated R, let me know because I honestly don't know why it was rated R. <laughs> uh, unless I missed something completely. I don't know. But it but it was a great, it was a really, really interesting little film. Um and definitely one you should check out if you like um, stories of uh, of discovering redemption and uh, forgiveness for for past mistakes. Uh, it's a really really interesting film. It really should be uh, checked out if you like those type of films. So uh, check out Appleseed. It's uh, pretty good from VCI Entertainment and uh, MVD Visual. Really really cool. All right. Um, then the other one that's kind of fly, kind of flied under the radar uh, is a uh, a film starring Sir Ben Kingsley, and wow, uh, I saw this uh, and um, I was like, the cover art just kind of made me go, okay, interesting, and so I wanted to see it, but I didn't hold a lot of hope for it, and it is this film, Jules. Okay. As you can see with this cover art here, you kind of got something that's intriguing, okay? Um, I love science fiction films. I love the films like, um, you know, E.T. and, and uh, uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind and, and these different types, uh, Independence Day and all these type of films that deal with uh, aliens. Uh, I love those type of films. Well, this one, I saw that cover art and I was like, Okay, this is interesting. I gotta check this one out. And plus, it had Ben Kingsley in it. Come on, uh, let's be, let's be honest here. Um, ben Kingsley uh, stars as a uh, retiree named Milton. Okay, and here's what it says: Milton's quiet retirement is up to end ended when a UFO crashes in his backyard. The unexpected friendship he develops with his his alien. Uh, um, the alien passenger that they named Jules, uh, and two curious neighbors uh, help him find meaning in his later years and newfound connection that he never knew he needed. Um, really an interesting film. Now, um, when I saw this, um, I saw the trailer and I was like, interesting. But I was like, I don't know how this is going to go about because this is uh, it's a little more um, dramatic than than um, than deals with the alien per se. It, the aliens there, but it's not it, it, that's not the story. 
The story is about Milton and his daughter and how they've disconnected uh, because Milton um, seems to be um, struggling in his later years and disconnecting and all. And uh, so it's it's really interesting, but the, the alien kind of like brings together all these people and helps him uh, as he's disconnected from life uh, to realize that he needs people in his life. And it is really, really interesting. Uh, I don't want to go into great detail about what all is going on in Milton's life. You need to check that out yourself. But it is a really, really amazing little film. Ben Kingsley is great. Uh, it was cool to see Jane Curtin. Uh, Jane Curtin, of course, um, known for her time in uh, Saturday, Night Live, Saturday Night Live. And, uh, of course, um, my favorite, uh, Third Rock from the Sun. Um, but here she is uh, in this film. And it is a really, really uh, interesting little film. Um, the, uh, the alien, uh, the makeup of the alien is simplistic, but it works. It works really well. And uh, it's it's a great little film. It's heartwarming, and it's uh, it really does um, uh, capture you. Um, now, I, I should um, make uh, a note here uh, that this is not for the whole family. There is some uh, uh, some fairly decent profanity. It's not it's not like all through the film, but there is uh, a, a couple of the F-bombs uh, dropped in this film. So this is not for the whole family. Um, uh, kids don't need to hear that. Uh, <laughs> but um, but uh, but it's a good film. Um, and, and there is, too, there is uh, some um, content about um, animal cruelty, okay, um, that, uh, you know, might be offensive to some viewers. So you, you would, and I don't want to spoil that either, but... There is some of that as well. So that's something you need to uh, uh, just think about as well. But uh, but a really good film. Really good film. Uh, the film is, uh, of course, presented in 1080p and widescreen format. It's in uh, DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. Um, and uh, it has a bonus feature of uh, the making of Becoming Jewels. Uh, so yeah, really an interesting film. Uh, these are just two films that kind of like flew under the radar uh, and uh, that I have to tell you, these are really, really good films. Um, are they Citizen Kane? Uh, no. Are they the greatest of films of all time? No, by no means. But they are a really, really good watch and uh, they tell a deeper story than just sitting down and being entertained. Uh, they go deeper with the story and have and have something greater to say about forgiveness, about um, being with someone and and, uh, and and helping someone in their later years. I mean, just great films. So uh, definitely check them out. Uh, Appleseed and Jules, uh, definitely a couple films that we recommend here at Classic Cinema Plus. All right, so that's just a little. Uh, video about uh, under the radar films we appreciate you joining me today i thank you so much for coming along as i just ramble on about uh, jewels and uh, apple seed pretty interesting films um thank you for watching be sure to like share and subscribe and until we're back with you once again with another video uh we want to remind you to go to classic cinema plus check out all of our reviews up there we would appreciate it until we see you next time this is jason reminding you that if you want to see a great film or a tv series check out a classic and we will see you next time have a good one bye <laughs>